Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars Republic Commando. Now, if you're looking for a Knights of the Old Republic series, then you know where to go. That is my wife, Victoria. She is currently creating a series on Knights of the Old Republic, focusing on a darkish, sort of, maybe honorable, slightly evil Jedi-esque character. Yes, there's a, there's a lot of character depth there. And, uh, yeah, if you want to check that out, then there's a link in the comments section and in the description. Anyway, last time we advanced here, and we now have to split up, and the rest of our squad will also be splitting up into each of these tubes, and, well, it's a little bit worrying. I think the last time that I got a little bit antsy... Wait a minute, where are we going? Oh, cool. Oh, very nice. Okay, so yes, anyway, story time. Slightly st slight story time. The last time I played this game and I split up from my squad for the first time, or was it the... I, I don't even know. I'm not actually sure where this is in the game at the moment because my memory... You know, it's, it was a while ago. It was over 10 years ago, so do bear that in mind. Anyway, yeah, so last time we split up, I was quite young, so... I got a bit scared because it was actually in the dark and, and there was actually kind of a couple of horror elements, horror game elements in that. And I thought that was really cool. So maybe it's going to be the same thing. Who knows? Delta Squad has accomplished the Republic's first breach of an enemy capital ship, but the battle is not over. A horde of merciless battle droids lies dormant, ready to be awakened by a heedless commando. That will be me. Now that you're on board the core ship, your mission is twofold. Your primary objective is to download the launch codes from the ship's bridge. With the codes, we can halt the evacuation of the Troid army. Your secondary objective is to permanently disable this core ship. En route to the bridge, each member of Delta Squad will sabotage critical systems throughout the ship. This elevator should take you to the Super Battle Droid storage racks. Navigate through the racks to the control room and disable its systems. Once you've disabled the droid loader, rendezvous with your squad and make your way to the bridge. We're counting on you, 3-8. Good luck. Advisor out. Oh, wow. against all these droids. <laughs> they don't stand a chance. Oh, yeah, that's fighting talk, isn't it? That is fighting talk from 3H right there. And I'm actually a little bit worried about this. As you can see, yeah, no, this isn't actually the time that I'm thinking of when I was referring to my story time. Uh, that wasn't, this isn't actually the thing because... These droids must be on standby. I'd better be careful not to wake them up. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best, 3-8. Anyway, yeah, this is actually one of the first times that you squat, uh, squat up? <laughs> that you squat up. No, that you split up from your squad. So, yeah, there is another time later on in the game when that happens. And, yeah, suffice it to say, it was pretty Just tricky. No droid so far. Ah, uh, well, at least we have made contact with Sev. Mm. Uh, careful. Oh. Die, please. Wow. I literally... Oh no! There's a super battle droid. I'm gonna run away a little bit. Maybe. I'm just gonna run away to the Bacta. Thank you very much, yes. Ooh, sweet, sweet Bacta. Okay, so yeah. This is gonna be a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Hello? You're annoying. Can you just go away, please? Okay, let's do this. There we go, and you're dead. Okay, so one grenade and a, a lot of melee, and that seems to take out super battle droids, so that's pretty nice. Anyway, I think that is actually necessary, because you need to go through here, and you need one of these guys to come alive, so... Here. I've infiltrated the repulsor lift control room. Slicing the system now. Ah, oh, well, yes, he would be, wouldn't he? He's already there. He's very fast. That shook him up. Very efficient as well, and... Ah, it seems like we have this to do. Oh. Hello. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, great. Great. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for my shields to... Oh, I thought I was gonna wait for my shields to come back, but then I thought to myself, I'm being shot. There we go. Okay, so, yeah. That is a problem. This is also a problem. Now, yeah, one of you did actually say that there is a weak spot on these bugs, and that is their orange sack there, and I'm thinking maybe I can shoot it? 
It's not going to happen, though, is it? It really is not going to happen. I'm just going to run this way, and is there a back to here? I don't. Th oh, oh, there is a back to here. Oh, that's great. So I'm just going to try and snipe this guy, if I can. He's going to be really annoying, isn't he? Okay, I did snipe him, but it was not enough. There we go. Did I get him? Yep, he's he's down. Oh, wow, there we go. I actually did something by myself. Can you believe it? I don't know. I think everyone should check that they are in the same reality as me. Anyway, let's go and do this now, finally. And is anyone else wanting to attack me? No, it seems not. Here. I think I've reached the coolant intake valve. Oh, well, it seems like 6-2 uh, no. is the slowest. It's an exhaust port. Uh, yes, that's exactly the reason. Can the chatter until you've got something useful to say? slicing primary power conduit now. Uh, it seems like Foro is quite the buzzkill, isn't he? <laughs> oh well, let's see if we can make our way. I finally located the cool intake Planting charges now. Oh no, that is a bug to our right. I cannot turn, so I'm a little bit worried about this. I hope that he is not as fast as this lift. He probably is, though. This is quite an operation they've got. Okay, I'm gonna have to be pretty kind of sneaky here, because the AI is actually not even that bad, and we need to make sure that we are actually hitting reason. Really, really. Okay, so yeah. If you didn't know any better, this assault rifle is kind of difficult to control some of the time, randomly, so yeah. If you see me missing a lot, then that's the excuse. There we go, okay, so they're gone, and I am still full HP, which is relatively good, I guess. Slice it. It's. I, I think this is actually the first console that we've sliced in the entire game because, yeah, we have no one else to do it for us, obviously. I think I hit a nerve. All right, squad. Secondary objectives complete. Rendezvous on sub level 1157. You got it, boss. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Ah, we're gonna rendezvous with the rest of our. Oh, my. Are you dead? Are you dead? Just making sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, he would have gotten up otherwise, I know. I'm just playing. Anyway, let's go down into the lift. Or shall we say, go up. And, uh, yes, hopefully rendezvous with the rest of our squad because I'm missing them. We really did a number on this ship. That one's going to come alive. Or not. Okay. Oh, hello. Attack, sir. We got a droid situation, boss. Die, you metalhead piece of trash. Okay, come on now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm being killed. I am being killed. There's a lot of them. One might think we weren't welcome. Just keep them at bay for now. No heroics. Once we're all back together, we'll get ourselves to the bridge, and then we're off this piece for good. Affirmative. You got it, boss. Copy that. Right, yes, I'm going to try and do that myself, but obviously that is a little bit difficult for me, considering I am almost dead. Okay, there we go. Oh, and now that one's alive. Okay, run. Uh, yeah. That's a problem, isn't it? Alright, so we seem to be back in the appropriate place, I think. Yeah, I think the reason why those guys were coming alive is because I was using my grenades and they were all being attacked. So, that was not good. Let's just use that. There we go. Okay, we've killed that, at least. One might think we weren't welcome. Just keep them at bay for now. No heroics. All right, Once so we're all back together, we'll get ourselves to the bridge, and then we're off this piece for good. Affirmative. Are the others going to come alive? Copy that. I actually don't know, but that doesn't matter because 
I don't think they will now. You see, that's the thing. I was using grenades in this area, and those grenades were activating these, so that was my whole problem there. I really just messed up, but it's okay, because we just used our explosive doohickey, you know, anti-armor attachment, and that was the reason why we were able to avoid that situation this time around. There we go. And now I'm being shot by something else. Or am I? Am I? No, no, I don't. Th I don't think I'm being shot by something else. I thought it. Was, I think it was just a spark or something. Hello. Okay, don't come alive, please. Just uh, you know, stay sleeping. I think that would be nice. Whoa, deadly shelf. You definitely don't want to go to IKEA. That's for sure, because you're gonna get a deadly shelf like that. Well, maybe it depends. Oh, oh, a loading squad or uh, uh, what? A loading squad? <laughs> really? I have literally said squad many, many times now. Great. Okay, so let's do it. I actually think they would have all died from that thing over there, but I did it anyway. Just in case. Just in case. You never know. Oh, I got all of them. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, they all die. Okay. Okay, rendezvous with squad. Easier said than done. I'm a little bit worried about these big things falling on me, but I think they are kind of scripted. Let me handle this, sir. Oh, yes, I'm sure you can. Ooh, look at that. Nice work, 07. Take cover. They're coming back. They're coming back. Yes, they are. Grenades! Oh yeah. Okay, seems to be a bunch coming. That's okay, we've got this in hand. Oh, we've got more droidicas, really? I actually really thought that... You know, droidicas I think are probably my favorite droid in the entirety of the Star Wars universe, apart from obviously the ones that can speak and things, and obviously you know, HK and, you know, all that sort of thing, but droidicas I actually thought were really cool when I first played, and this is going to be a bit of a cringeworthy moment because I really liked, I actually had a demo. Yes, as I was saying, thank you very much for interrupting me, advisor. Anyway, the point is, I had a demo on the PlayStation 1 or 2? I, I think it's the PlayStation 2. It could be. could be the PlayStation 1. I actually don't know. Anyway, it was a demo of the Phantom Menace game. And yeah, everyone's going to be facepalming now because the Phantom Menace game was not that good, as far as I'm aware. I, 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 think, it, I think a lot of people thought it wasn't that good. Anyway, that was... I think my first introduction to droidicas in the Star Wars universe, because I hadn't yet seen them before. And, uh, yeah, and I thought they were really, actually really cool, even though they were really deadly, you know, because they had shields and no one could get through them, and it was really difficult, and I had to try and figure out how to get through their shields, and it was actually really easy in the end, you just had to do something weird with them, but, you know, the point is, is that, that that's why the droidicas have kind of a fond sort of place in my heart for, for that reason. I'm not entirely sure why that would be, but, yeah, they're kind of cool, I think. Can we actually just kill them, or do I need to use my grenades on them? Well, I've used my grenade anyway. There we go. Okay, so I'm getting a bit low on ammunition here. I'm not, I'm not particularly happy about that. Okay, so let's get some people in positions here, because there's no doubt going to be a bunch of extra spawns. Maybe. Oh, lovely. It's a droid dispenser. Great. How fantastic. Okay, I'm going to stay here and try and defend Scorch. Uh, at least we have two snipers. There we go. So all of those blocks above us are droid dispensers. How many do they have in there? I have no idea, but... 
It's going to be a lot. Yes, it's going to be a lot. Anyway, let's see what we can do about moving forward. Where do we have to go here? Okay, well, everyone can follow me. Uh, it seems like we have a slice or a door breach maneuver. I think we'll probably do a door breach maneuver. Slicing is more for stealth, but a door breach... There might be enemies on the other side. Breach that door. Yes, sir. So let's see if that is indeed the case. If they're not, then I'm going to be really sad because we could have gone through stealthy. There is, as I thought. There we go. That's what we like to see. Come on now. Kill the battle droids. There we go. Get them. Good take, lead. That was easy. That was easy, was it? I guess it was kind of easy. They did most of the work. Droids incoming. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Okay, so this is the part where there is a big boss. Spoilers, big boss. Yeah, it's actually not spoilers because it's going to appear in very, very quick succession. It's going to be really, really close by. Okay, so let's just kill this bug. Get the bug. Yeah, there we go. Okay, revive him. Revive that fellow. I'm going to try and use a grenade here. I know I stunned everyone else, but it was kind of worth it, I guess. And we're going to pick this up. Thank Looks you. Like we'll have to get through this door. And I'm also going to pick up some ammunition back here if I can. Alright, so yeah, we have to get through that door, but there's going to be a big boss on the other side. So I'm going to tell everyone to go over here. There we go. Let's get all of them healing at once. I am at full HP, amazingly enough. I'm not entirely sure how that is, but anyway. Everyone is ready. Let's get in that position there. Anti-armor, which is what we will need, of course. And we'll need to go over there as well. Alright, so it seems like everyone is in position. And I'm going to slice this to make it a little bit easier for our people. I actually don't even know whether I should really be splitting them up that much, but we're going to do it anyway. And then there's going to be a big boss. Big boss. No, not Snake. Even though I would like it to be, because he's cool, and I like him. Anyway, oh, I'm being killed! I'm being fried by one of these! Kill him, please. Come on. Who is shooting? Come on, you're not Sev. Uh, it's Scorch, of course it is. Scorch, why do you miss? Go, go, go. Go and heal. Yeah, there's going to be a big droid coming through there. Pretty soon, I think. Alright, let's go down. There's the droid. Yep, it's coming. I'm going to heal. Yep, another spider droid. Okay, there we go. Okay, so do, 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 do these grenades work? I don't think so. No, they don't. Okay. Of course they don't. Okay, so Scorch is going to have some problems there. And that's exactly the reason why I thought maybe I shouldn't put him there. Yeah. Okay, so let's revive... Never mind. Let's not revive him. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. We're all going to die because I placed Scorch in this position. Aren't we? Aren't we? Is it? Is it against recommended protocols? I don't care. I don't care if it is. I'm reviving. Thank you very much. Okay, so, yeah. That droid is now going to... Ah, yes, that droid is now focusing on someone else. Great. Okay, it's focusing on Sev. Sev is an absolute beast. He is literally the hero of this entire thing. And, yeah, we can, uh, obviously... Should we get 6-2 to heal, heal himself, or do we, do we care about that? I don't know whether we care about that. Let's just get our alien blaster out and see what we can do. Okay, let's aim for the thing on the front... There we go, and it's dead. And it's dead. I don't know whether the alien blaster was the reason, or whether it was Sev, or whoever it was, but we did a really amazing job there, apart from obviously me being killed extremely embarrassingly. <laughs> well, that happens. That happens. Okay, so I'm going to heal as well. Everyone's going to be back at full HP. There we go. Oh, fantastic. All right. So after the defeat of the spider bot, we're going to access the main elevator. Ever ever Everlater. Yes, Everlater. We're going to access the main Everlater elevator next time. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.